How we doing, everybody? Dami Gunnarici here Thursday, June 22nd. I got a game for you. This is the Pirates versus Miami. Let me start off by saying I usually, you guys know I usually do my live on Thursday, but this card wasn't so great. I was having a little bit of difficulties this morning with cameras and stuff, so I just decided to give you, put out a couple picks, and then anything else I have, I'll put out on Twitter. I will be back on Saturday live, 10 a.m., Who Bangin' Sports Talk. Pirates versus Miami. Keller against Garrett. Let's start with Keller. 8 and 3, 3.62 ERA, 108 strikeouts. Not bad. You know, he started out good, as did the Pirates. But we'll, look what happens, as, as ha happens so often. The sexy underdog pick, the Pittsburgh Pirates, you know, as we've seen lately, not uh, start to falter. And by the All Star break, like a lot of these teams do, um, they uh, continue to go down the path like that we have seen them do time and time again. I think the Pirates will be that kind of team again. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see what happens. But Keller had uh, his last five starts. One good start, and that was against the Mets, of course, but four bad ones. He had uh, those two in May, Giants and the Mariners, combined. 12 innings, 17 hits, hits 10 earned runs. Then he had, in June, he, he went... He, uh, pitched against Oakland, and that should have been his bounce-back game. That should have been the game uh, where he comes out of that two, you know, those two bad losses, and that was um, not to be uh, the case. Five earned runs, four walks, eight hits, 1K versus Oakland. Then he did have his bounce-back game against the Mets, who were not, and I'm taking away anything from Keller. I watched the game. Uh, he pitched a good game, but the, the Mets weren't hitting anybody um, like they are now, but of course they're still losing, so it doesn't matter that they're hitting now, but I, if I go into that tirade, we'll be here all day. Um, he did have seven innings, one run, seven strikeouts against the Mets that night, but then he went back again in a game he should have followed up with another good win against another perennial underachiever, and that's the, uh, and I'm putting the Mets in that category now, um, uh, the, the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, five innings, three walks, Four earned and a homer. Um, not great numbers. The Pirates, the last 30 days. OPS is 20th, ISO 27th. Not good at all. Um, they are in Miami. Miami, a team that's doing well. My, a team that is uh, is the only team besides the Braves that's doing good in the division. Uh, we like the way they're playing. They're a team that was like Baltimore was couple going back a couple of years and they started getting better and better, younger and younger, better and better. Now we see what Baltimore is doing this year and we see what uh, Miami's doing. Can they success, sustain it? I don't know. I mean, if we told you that, uh, and I heard someone say this uh, yesterday and it's just so true. If I said that to you that, um, uh, I think it was a, a, spre a spreadopedia said it. If, um, if I, um, told you that Sandy Alcantara had a 5 ERA and Miami would be doing as good as they are, you wouldn't, <laughs> you wouldn't um, believe it, right? But, uh, yeah, you know, I don't want to say something that someone else said, you know, and shout it out to them. But uh, that's, you know, that's kind of where I'm going with this game. Uh, Garrett, a pitcher I like, you know, 3-2 three, two, three, two overall, 3.88 ERA, 77 strikeouts. His last seven games... 38 innings, 25 hits, 9 earned runs, 8 walks. So I like this, you know, we, you know the less walks we see, the better in, in my book. With a 2.31, uh, 2.13 ERA in anyone's book, right? Not, not just my book. So that not not bad at all. Last three, he did let up 13 hits, hits and 16 in the third innings. 5 earned, 23 strikeouts. So, you know, I like Garrett. He did have a bad outing against the Braves, but he seems, but that's not him. Um, I, I think he's, uh, you know, obviously with his numbers show, and if you, you know, watch him pitch, he's better than that outing against the Braves. But I took Miami, so what, what I went with, with this game was I took Miami's team total over 3.5, minus 120, and I took over 7, Minus 120. I think this game's going to go over. I was a little surprised about the seven. Um, it is minus 120. It might go up to seven and a half. I, you know, I can see the Pirates get getting a couple of runs maybe on Garrett. Um, you know, he is home, so uh, they'll, they'll be in Miami. We won't have the weather with issues. Uh, I'm sure. Um, and, you know, with the dome and stuff today. Um, 
and Keller, you know, has not been pitching well. And both these teams have gone over it in a bunch of these situations. Uh, Pirates, over the total, last five of seven on the road. Last 21 on the road versus lefty. The Pirates are 15 overs, four unders, two pushes. Miami, four overs, one under. Uh, game one of the last five series that they played. Six and two versus righty to the over. And at home versus righty, they've hit the ball. Ten overs, four, uh, ten overs, four um, unders, and one um, and one push. So uh, they've been involved in overs at home. Uh, the Pirates have been involved with overs with lefties. Miami's been involved with overs against righties. I thought seven was a decent number to try to go over. And I took a shot with that. So my two plays on this Pirates versus Miami game. Miami team total three and a half minus 120 and over seven minus 120. Both of those bets I took on BetUS today. So uh, that's where I'm at. So any other picks I have, I, I'm leading the Padres. Uh, for those of you who's looking at the Yankee game tonight, the weather is kind of crazy today. As I look out the window, it's getting cloudier and cloudier. I think it's going to rain. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in that game tonight. Um, but Jermon sure the hell hasn't looked good. Uh, this kid will, uh, might be the time to back him for, for, a do uh, for a dog. Might be the time to back him. We'll see. We'll have to look into that a little bit more, see where the line goes and, and, and so forth. But until then, I'll be back on Saturday, 10 a.m. with a live Light It Up. And uh, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate all the support. And until then, Dominic and Richie, who banging sports talk. See you soon. <laughs>